This will show you how to measure and adjust the toe end of a Model A. You've got to have uh, about a sixteenth of an inch toe end uh, to make sure you don't shimmy and uh, you don't get excessive tire wear. But toe end is important. If you're shimmying, check that toe. There's a lot of ways of doing it and this is kind of a basic one we'll show you today. We'll show you two methods. But the basic one, uh, you simply put a line on the tire and get a contraption to measure how what the difference is front and back. Well, we're here at Cal's uh, place and we're going to have a seminar and a working session on how to uh, set the toe and adjust the toe and measure the toe on a Model A. And we're going to use we're going to use two machines. But basically, what uh, we do with the first machine is uh, spin the wheels, put a nice coating of chalk on it, then take uh, this machine here, the red one. It's just a stylus that we'll lay up against the wheel as we spin it, and it'll give us a nice line in the chalk line. And we do the same thing to the other wheel, and then it's a simple process of taking this uh, black uh, machine here. It has uh, measuring points on both ends, and we simply measure the uh, distance between the two uh, lines we put on the tires, and then we sneak it around behind the wheel and measure it and we have our toe in. Okay, we jacked up uh, one wheel, now we'll put the chalk on. Okay, we could use uh, sidewalk chalk, and that's what I use, but Cal found some, uh, some spray tracking powder. And as it's spinning, he's just simply putting a, a white uh, background on it, the tire. Here you can see the line. That sharp little line in the uh, chalk mark. Now they're going to do the same thing on the, the other wheel. Jack it up and put the chalk on and scribe the line. That scriber is spring-loaded. Okay. Yeah, he's putting it right on the tire. Give it a spin. Okay. And we got the, the left point right on that line, and then this point right on the line. It's a sixteenth toed out. When they put the pointers on the back of the tire, it uh, it came out a sixteenth of an inch in the wrong direction. Okay, they're simply loosening the uh, tie rod end bolts to where the the uh, tie rod can turn and there's a question which way to turn it because if the tie rod is reversed then uh, you turn it one way if it's flipped around the other way you turn it a different way but once you find out on your car which way your tie rod is you write it down and then it's easy I uh, put a clamp wrench on the tie rod and pull it toward me or push it away from me from the front bumper okay they're gonna measure it Okay, it's on the line. On the line. To see what moved. Left, le left side over here is on okay. the line. On the line. On the inside. And, the, and it's on the inside. Okay. What the guys have found out is that on this car, if you put the wrench on the tie rod, hanging down, and pull it toward the front of the car, that is uh, that increases the toe end. Okay, after another adjustment, there. Uh, that side goes on the line. Which this side over here? Yeah, that goes on the line. There it is. On okay. On the inside. Now they measured. Well, for some strange reason, it's uh, right on. Okay, I think uh, we got it at about a sixteenth of an inch. They're tightening up everything. Then we're going to put the other machine on it and see uh, what it measures. Guys used our club machine and uh, measured the same thing, sixteenth of an inch toe in. Well, the guys are doing another car, and it turns out that the tie rod is reversed, so pushing uh, toward the rear of car increases the toe. Okay, the guys have done this car, and this was a lot easier than the first. Got a good number. He's got brand new tires on it. So he should be all set. This is the best line Cal's ever seen. So it must, it must be mean something.